Jared Poland from Photo. Dot com and welcome back to another rapid fire critique. Jared Poland from Photo. Dot com and welcome back to another rapid fire critique where I take 10 2 3 4 5 10 of your best images and give them a critique my critiquerson. This video is brought to you by my Gear Vault. If you haven't checked out my app, it's free for iOS and Android. Go ahead and check it out at mygearvault.com. Put your gear in there, see how easy it is to use so you know what you have and what it's worth at all times. I use it. I have a lot of gear in there because it's my gear vault. Here we go. Let's see what this rapid fire critique is going to give us this time. I'm going to see what they're shooting with. We have somebody that's a Fuji shooter, Fuji X-T2 shooter. You know because it's a Fuji shooter, the harshness level just got turned up to 11 because they're Fuji shooters. It's not true, all right? Leave me alone. I'm just kidding. I don't hate Fuji shooters. All I like are photographs that are good. And if you're not good, I don't care what you shot them with. Could be a Pentax, could be a Nikon, could be a Sony, could be a Canon. I will tell you, or definitely a Leica. I will tell you that. All right, first image. I, I want the eye contact. I don't understand. Like, I get it. Sometimes off looks can be good but it, it has to bring out something in the facial expression. There's not much going on here. She's got great lips. I like her lips. It's all like, that's fine, but there's no eye connection. There's no brightness. There's no light underneath the eye to, 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 to showcase those eyes and make them pop. Look at the camera, stare at it. You gotta bring this out of your subject. So. Colors and tones, fine. Happy with that 90 millimeter, very good choice for a portrait lens. Like all of that, like the, the technical aspects of the image. What were we taking at here? Uh, F2, 160th, 1 160th at 290 millimeter. Okay, all of the technical stuff is perfectly fine. Happy with it. Composition, fine. It's the sub, you gotta bring out something in this model. She, there, I'm, I don't have anything. I don't have the eyes. It's not bright enough under there, so I'm lost there. It's close, but you gotta bring that out of the subject. Again, we're looking off to the side. We're, we've got this lighting. I don't understand the, how do you even do that? I don't even know how she does that. She was talented. F1, F1, okay. It doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, I, I, I mean, it's okay, it's, it's, it's experimental, it's not something that's gonna blow my mind away. It, I'm gonna say this, you know, I'm really tired of, of, and this may be a rant video I need to write, but there's so many Instagram models, and it's just these 20-something girls, or younger, that just sit there and they're all like, hey Dan, pop up some of me posing like a, uh, like one of those, those models from when Manny Ortiz shot me. Oh my God, that facial expression is amazing. Look, look, this is what you look like. When you get these models, and I'm not saying this photographer did that or those models look like that, but what, what, it, what it just, it looks so bad with the legs spread open and the, that's why I made fun of it in, in that posing video that I did for Manny. It's just so over the top. It's just good. You're a good looking girl or guy. What actually, I'd rather see the guys. I, I, you don't even see that many guy photos. Maybe I'm not looking for them, but you don't see them as many as these girls that are just trying to be faces and bodies. And I see some of these images that people post and it's a nude woman. And I love nude images like the rest of the people, but it's just like nude for being the sake of nude. It's a good looking, attractive woman, nude, sitting on a blanket. Great. Like, it just becomes one of these things that you just think it's so, it's, oh, it's so shocking, it's a nude woman. No, it's just a good looking person sitting there naked, whether it's a guy or a girl, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't do it. It's not artistic to me. It's just a naked person sitting in a windowsill or on a bed. And I will say though, if it's a famous person, it does change it up because famous people just, people are more interested in looking at that. I love naked pictures, but I just, yeah, whatever. So back to this image, I, it just doesn't do it for me. Even if her eyes were looking at me, is she a DJ? Oh no, those are just massive hoop earrings. <laughs> I thought she had headphones on and she was, yeah, I just don't, I just don't do it. Hello, McFly, why are we looking off camera? Three shots in a row we're looking off camera. What's the point? Okay, let's be, let's be critical here. This opening right here to the left, his left arm, distracting when you don't have that on the, on this. 
even if you had to crop this later, I'd rather have you do that because that little opening is a distraction for me with the portrait. Have him cross his freaking arms and look at you. Stare right through his eyes. Have him, his nose right through the camera. You as a photographer need to bring this out. This is why Peter Hurley is so damn good at taking portraits. If you don't know who Peter is, you can check out Peter on Instagram or YouTube or wherever, go to his website. But he is so good about at bringing out emotions from people's faces. Yes, every picture he has in the studio tends to, it's the same lighting setup, but that's what people want for their headshots but he brings out the emotion, he brings out the eyes, he brings out the faces, the smirks. You need to bring out something in the subject to make the image come to life. Because right now, you're not. Those first three images don't bring anything out, and this doesn't bring, where are you looking? Why are you looking there? Plus, there's not enough contrast. It's too flat for my taste. Now, that is what I would like to see the processing be. That, that is a much better in, in terms of processing. F1 again? Well, I don't, I don't think I know this lens then. I really just don't know. And it's from 2017, so we're already like three years ago. Uh, I don't know, it's a guy smoking. The background, fine. I, he's isolated there. I, it's fine. I like the, the tones of it, the black and whites, but anything else, really, I, I'm, I'm not too keen on it. It's, uh, again, we don't have any, I'm not saying he needs to have contact with the camera, but maybe if he was just holding his freaking cigarette, if we're gonna have a cigarette, which I don't advocate or condone, I'm not a big, I've never smoked a cigarette, you just looking at you like this could be of interest. No eye contact again. Well, now we got eye contact, but it's just, not being harsh just to be harsh. Composition-wise and, 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 and everything along those lines, this one is great compositionally. The process, the eyes are dead. We need more light in the eyes. I don't know what else to tell you, but you need to bring out some interest in their face. Like, she's just like, why are you looking at me? You know, she's coming across as dead. So I need more light in her eyes. I need more something. I need more just life. Um, compositionally, it's fine. Let me cut in here real quick and let you know that the image that you see on the screen right now was edited using Fro Pack 2. If you're looking to speed up your raw workflow or give yourself a great starting point, we created 15 all new custom Lightroom presets that you can check out at fronosphoto.com slash Fro Pack 2. Over there, you can play with the sliders to see the befores and the afters. And if you decide to pick them up right now, they are currently on sale. Or if you pick up the Fro Pack bundle, you can save even more. More. Now, let's get back to the video. I think I stared at the, she's in a bathtub? Again, we need more light. We need more pop in her eye. Even if you go in after the fact and brighten some of this up, you need to get some kicker, kicker into there. Whether it's bouncing natural light off the wall back into the subject or turning more towards the light that's behind her to brighten her up because this side looks a little better. Plus I'm, distra I'm highly distracted that this shirt or if this is a bra, is way too small for this girl. But I know nothing about bras because I've never worn one, but I'm super distracted by, by this hair right here flowing right here. No, I'm not really distracted by that. She's, again, there is nothing in her face that brings this out to me, like in terms of emotion. She is looking at the camera, thank you, I like that better. But now we need to bring out something. As Peter says, smize, make those eyes smile. But it could be a smile, it could be a devious look, it could be anything other than this. This, she's just not even, we're gonna zoom in because I just like blocked the, the boobs off for now. Because it's about her face, like her face is great. I don't even think we need the boobs in this image. I think the boobs distract. I mean, yes, I'm distracted. But why wouldn't you be? But this is something where it's just like, like we, I, I, uh, I mean, but then there's no context in the portrait. There's just not a lot going on. It's just a snapshot of somebody sitting in a tub, and that's just where, where it loses me. I mean, I mean, it loses me down in the booble area, but still, I mean, why not? I just, she's a, this would, she would be a, if she was smiling or smizing or doing something with her face, having some kind of smirk, telling some kind of story, then I think it would be much better. Please understand, I'm not being harsh just because this person's a Fuji shooter. I'd be saying the same thing for a Leica shooter, a Nikon shooter, a Sony shooter. It doesn't matter. I'm, I hope you understand, like, the way that a critique works is you, you call things out. You nitpick. You don't nitpick to be a dick. You nitpick so that possibly in the future, when you're in this same situation, 
something resonates that I just said or anybody else said in a critique that you may be like, you know what? Let me turn her body into the light a little more so that I get more light in the face. Let me try and draw something out of her eyes and say to her, hey, think of X and give me a slight curious look, right? Like bring something out, put your chin out, turtle out as Peter says. Peter has a bunch of weird sayings. I'm calling on him because he does a lot of portraits and these are a lot of portraits, but you gotta bring out something in the face to bring it to life. Again, not being harsh just to be harsh, just trying to point this all out to everybody so that we all, even me, think about it when I do a stupid picture and I'm like, shit, I could have done that better by turning them into the light or there's not enough kick into the face so I shouldn't take it or my subject isn't giving me what I need and it's my fault that they're not giving me what I need. I need to bring it out of them. Again, same, so composition wise, fine. Exposure, not, not so, not so hot, we need to brighten it up. We need to bring these eyes out even if you dodge just a little bit. So composition fine. Her look is, a, she's smizing, I mean, not smizing, but you could see a little bit of something like slight little smirk. I just think that's her natural face. But the way that the eyes are conveying a message here is much better than before. I like what's going on in her face better than what I've seen in the prior images. And we've got better contact with the, uh, with, with the camera. We just need better lighting in the face. So this is something where you can turn somebody towards the window, especially if you're gonna shoot this tight. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, you would be able to get this picture anywhere. So you gotta get the light in the face. Even if, is there a window in the, there's probably a window at the back, but what are, what's our exposure? One, 180th at 1600. So you could go to 1 60th of a second, cut it in half, get an extra stop of light. Don't have to worry about the movement too much. That would be fine, but we need to brighten this up. We need to brighten the eyes up, draw some more focus into the face in terms of the exposure. So that's where we lost on this. This is just a snapshot. Yeah, you got bokeh in the background. yip de whoop de freaking do um, She's slightly smirking, but again, we're, we're, we're lost on the light. There's not enough light on her face. Fuji XT30. Oh, with Canon 1.4, that's why it's reading, it's not reading right because it's a, it's an adapted lens. It just, yeah, the bokeh looks fine. I love the way that out of focus looks, but there's not enough light on the subject. It's too blah, it's too bland, it doesn't do it. And I don't think it sh should do it for you guys. Is she even in focus? Or, or is like the bokeh the m main focus? It's weird. Because the bokeh looks sharper than she does, but it doesn't matter, there's no light in her face. All right, so this is better lighting because we're outside. What are we shooting with again? Uh, one, two, 56 is a nice portrait lens. I really liked using that on the Fuji. 160, uh, 160 ISO, one one thousandth of a second, perfectly fine. It's fine because um, the lighting's better. But again, we're not bringing anything out of this guy's face. There's nothing, there's nothing there. It's just... That's it. You gotta bring you gotta bring the emotion with your subjects. That's your job as the photographer. Um, you either gotta come in tighter, or you gotta leave his feet in in the whole image. And he's not making contact. Like this is one. I don't know if he's getting into the car, but if you're getting in a car, you're usually not looking out somewhere else. But if you if you backed up just a little bit, I love the 56. I love the feel of this lens. It's a great portrait lens for the Fuji that they use. I, I've used it. I like it. Uh, back up. You didn't get his feet in here. You ruined it because of the feet. If he if he was just walking to the car and you had all the feet in there, it's going to be much better, even with him looking off. But here, if he's making eye contact with you or just leaning against the car, see, I don't know if this is a candid or not, so I'm just putting it out there. If he's walking towards the car and you're getting the feet moving and you have all the feet in there, you just got to back up a little bit and get this and have him look. Either look at you, look past you, it's fine, because this one's much better. I still want to see a slight more bit of contrast in here, a slight bit of clarity, going to make it sharper, and it's going to make it pop a little more. But... You don't need the eye contact in here, but you definitely need the feet in here. So I, I'm lost so much in this. Look, look I, I, I get it. Like, I hope you understand that most of these portraits, they're, we need some emotion in the subject's face. That's where I'm lost. It's the emotion. We don't have it. And the sub, and, and 
just about everything else about the images are fine in terms of in, in terms of exposure and the composition for the most part we just need a little bit brighter in certain situations looking for the light and we need to bring out emotion in the subjects faces in their eyes in their lips in their cheeks we got to bring that out as photographers that's why i picked this one to talk about is because the portraits were lacking the emotion everything else is there but you need to bring out the emotion in the portraits, in the subject, and capture it with better light, and I think we would be better in that situation. Harsh, yes. Fair, I believe so. I'm sure I'll see the comments, but it's just, this is what critiques are. You point out stuff so that people hopefully keep it in their back of their mind. They don't have to listen, but maybe something in the back of the mind is like, you know what? My subject isn't giving me anything and it's my fault, especially if you're not working with pro models. Pro models are really good, except for those ones that are all like, pop those images up again, Dan, me as a pro model, right? Look at that guy, he's sexy and he knows it, but that's another rapid fire critique. If you'd like to send in your best 10 images, send them to bit.ly slash fro critiques. Thank you very much for watching Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya.